Well, a judgment call again made by the official. And as I said, sometimes the referee has to save a super. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Light. This is a unique situation. So they, they actually got me in this match, man. Uh, I went over all the, the match details and my analysts on, on the match. Definitely go back to that video to hear more about it in the last video. I'm going to try to make this one kind of fast, this video, because I need to get into the Blade Davenport Roxanne stuff. That's probably going to be a longer video. So um, the thing is here, Dana Brooke was selling that she blew out a knee or something like that. Like it looked as serious at first. Like it looked like it was a real one. Sort of like the Indy Hardwell one where we thought it was a work at first and then we found out later that she actually injured it. So, I was thinking here, like, WWE not going to get me again. They got me on the Indy Hardwell one. I'm not going to get fooled again and I'm going to think that this is real. But what gave it away that it wasn't real was when Corey J started taunting her and she was continuously trolling her. Like, right before the commercial break, she was trolling And then the picture-in-picture picture show where she was still trolling her. I was like, damn, man, Corey J is still trolling this girl, bro. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> she was good. Bro, I swear, Corey J has one of the best heel characters right now, bro. She is awesome as a heel, bro. She's doing so well with this gimmick, bro. I I I'm telling you, like, the Resident Mean Girl gimmick is working for Corey J. Like Booker been saying... He reminded her of a young Sherry Martell. And I think that's big praise that you can give her from the late Sherry Martell, man. Uh, dude, she is just, she's so awesome and she's so funny with this gimmick, man. Like, I'll be laughing every single week with something Corey J does to troll somebody, bro. It be funny every week. And she's gotten better and better. Like, what I like is the progression with her here character. She's gotten better and better. I remember how awkward it was when she first turned heel last year. It was so awkward. And then you just saw like a steady build up, like how better and better and better and better it got. Um, and she's just, she's just living in it now. Her and Braun Breaker, you know, they're, they're killing it right now. But, but I'm, I'm telling you, man, like, like Core J, she's, she's killing it. But one thing that I was saying about Danny Brooke, I'm going to address this in the next video with Roxanne Perez and Blair Davenport. And you guys will know why I'm bringing it up in that video. Dana Brooke should turn heel because that was ridiculous. The crowd was actually rooting for Corey J to win. And you will figure someone selling an injury like that, they will get the crowd on their side easily. <laughs> nope, they didn't go like that, man. But uh, Dana's okay. Dana, it was a work. Uh, but I, I was worried about it at first. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I love the way Corey J just was making fun of him, man. She was trolling the hell out of him. But give me your thoughts on this. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe for me. And if you want to hear about why I think Dana Brooks should turn heel, uh, not why she should turn heel, but what she should do when she turns heel, watch the next video, man. Uh, Roxanne Perez and Blade Davenport. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.